boy, that's handy. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now, I'm actually going to hold off on doing that whole rigmarole regarding that flight pad over here for a little bit later. Uh, you'll see why I'm going to do that later on when I get there. But anyway, <laughs> 350 notes. Very, very easily met. <laughs> Especially if you're going for 100% like I am. So, what is this place? Oh no, it's lava. This certainly does not look healthy whatsoever. In fact, they will kill you in one hit if you fall in it. So, yeah, let's let's not fall in that. And here we go, Gobi's Valley. And once again, I'm going to tease by putting him in really slowly. Oh, last three, last three. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. Oh, okay, we're done. <laughs> Remember that? Yep, that is where the sixth world is. And oh, is it ever a world. Um, there's more to see down this way, but that's another thing I'm going to save for later. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that for now and flop my way back over to... That was a weird camera angle. Back over to the uh, temple type area, which was back through this door right here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So remember this? Now we're going to have to use the boots. Remember the boots? We got to get those boots. Uh, oh, wait. No, this was not where the boots were. <laughs> Everything looks the same. Everything. Everything. Here we go. Uh, what do you have to say there? Well, technically you don't have to. <laughs> technically you don't have to get the boots, because you can just jump into the hot sand or whatever the heck that is, and yeah, but nah, I'm just, I'll just do it the proper way here. And then you go up here, and then you flop up, here, and you go, yeah, I'm at Gobi's Valley, but we're not going in there just yet. <laughs> there is this to be had. Yep, Brintilled up. Let's see more of her fun facts. Saggy Maggie. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to click through. Ah, poopers. I'm going to have to skip through a couple there. <laughs> Cold worm juice. Mm -mm. So that was supposed to be added to something uh, in the second one here. It is this one here. There we go. <laughs> So she reads Fat Hag Monthly Magazine while drinking some cold, delicious worm juice. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, so World 6. Gobi's Valley begins. Oh, look at that, hidden right off the bat. <laughs> Not that well hidden, because, you know, when you go back to the start, you're going to see that anyway. Now, I love this line. Just, just listen to this one. Well, I should say read this one right here. This is Trunker. Needs rain. So dry. How's your nuts? Bark breath. <laughs> Kazooie. <laughs> That's another one of those things. Sort of like the striptease that got in the game. <laughs> so anyway, we need to do something about that. And uh, alas, alas, we still don't have the power to use those shoes. Alas. So for now, we're just going to have to kind of kind of explore around these parts. I don't really think there's anything else to do here for now. Uh, yeah, it's just all feathers on top of the trees and whatnot, so I'm going to use my Talon Trout to get up the hill. And I will also use them to get the stuff. Hello there, new enemy. Oh, well, I was going to introduce you, but you ran away. It must be a very shy enemy. <laughs> anyway, that's Slappa. You'll see why it's called Slappa in just a minute here. That's why, and then you just, yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of graphic thing, you can see the kind of bloody flesh and bones and whatnot. That is definitely not kid-friendly in the slightest. But, well, I'm kind of questioning what kind of game I'm playing now with the line from Trunker. <laughs> as well as the striptease, for that matter. Anyway, I am going to go and get these annoying notes 
out of the way right away, off at the bat, um, I mean, out of the bat, excuse, I, I can't speak, but anyway, there's an extra life here if you want it, I, I guess, but they're, it's kinda, kinda useless, <laughs> but, uh, most importantly, I wanna re refresh my boots here, and go along here to get the notes, don't miss any notes along the way, or, uh, you might regret it, because these boots don't last too long, and nice emulation graphical error there, between the two textures, that is lovely, <laughs> Yeah, for some reason, Nintendo 64 emulators do not do graphics all that well. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go back up here, and I'm gonna take a little slightly different route this time here. I'm gonna go up to here. Yeah, there's a flight pad up there, but that's that's not what I'm here for. This <laughs> What I'm actually here for is going all the way over past the Sphinx's nose. Yes, it's actually alive. <laughs> And I'm gonna go flop over on here, and he's gonna be like, Ah, oh, man, the nose, it's all clogged, and we gotta do something about that. Shoot some eggs in it. Yeah, that, that, that'll that solve everything. <laughs> so let's shoot another one in there. Oh, I missed. Uh, I could tell it right when it went on launch. There we go. Victory! Well, if you call it a victory, if being sneezed on. <laughs> Alright, so Jinxie's nose is clear, we can go in and face the dangers inside. Which aren't really that dangerous. I'll do the upper part first, because it's because then I'll just drop down to the lower part really quick. So we gotta shoot some eggs in, yeah, these duders. Hey there. Mmm, delicious. Uh, there's a Jinjo right here, I'm gonna jump kind of blindly because I know it's there. So it's not exactly blind. And yeah, aha! And we go up again. Yep, every time you feed one of them, they let you up. I I guess they're intertwined or something with the power of eating eggs or something. I don't I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's our jiggy. Oh yeah, you knew one was in here all along, didn't you? All right, now I'm gonna carefully get myself down to the ground. Avoid slapa. Ground pound, and now I guess I can clear out this area from the ground. Well, you know, the ground portion. Keep collecting your Ecom Bokums for the future. Transformations just keep getting more and more expensive by five increments, so definitely not something to miss. And also, don't miss any notes because there's a lot of indoor notes, and they're the easiest to miss in any sort of collection game because you don't see them out in the open or anything like that. So make sure that when you're getting something, you're getting something totally cleared out. Uh, Alright, now I'm going to go back up there again. This time taking this side just to give you the full tour, I guess. And I'm going to take something else here, the flight pad, because... There is something that I would like to do here. See that target? Guess what we gotta do to that target? If it reminds you of a certain button snowman, you would be correct. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta get in that door before the timer runs out. I like to do a, a loop and dip. And then ground pound right about here. And it should work out, there we go. Alright, what do we have in store for us in here? Oh yeah, this place. This is kind of annoying, but it's ultimately harmless. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I love the voice. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, treasure sounds good. Specifically a Jiggy. Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can get it. I'm gonna just take a peek up there and see what the... Oh, <gasps> it's a Jiggy. So, okay, there's a, there's a basket there. First, let's clear out these notes. These notes, uh, they're pretty easy to miss because you're gonna see right here, bad camera angles. Yeah, I do not approve of this in the slightest. I'm just gonna go around the perimeter here just to make sure I get them all carefully. Okay, I think I got them all. Now, I gotta fill up this basket with eggs, uh, eventually. And yeah, that little sneaky friend there will be like, eh, I'm just, I've just noticed something that happened there. And yeah, since it's a moving basket, this is a rather annoying task. What I like to do is kind of throw it at, or poop them out at this angle because, you know, you can po potentially get more than one in at a time if you time it right, but it's still kind of tricky to do. Alright, so what do we get here? Woo! We got ourselves a rope to climb! <laughs> 
<laughs> and of course, a Jiggy to get! Yeehaw! Alright, and let's go down manually just to... I just need wait for the timer to go out just for fun. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and if you need to do that again because you took too long, just put more eggs in the basket and... Yeah. Alright, that seems to be cleared out. Now I'm going to go over here carefully. Uh, you can go, yeah, like this. Because, 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 because... This is the move! This is the move! Yes! Yes! With <laughs> the running shoes! We finally got them! Yes! Yes! And that's why I couldn't get the things over back at the Freeze Easy Peak entrance type thing. So yeah, I literally can't get them at that moment in time. That's why I didn't bother. <laughs> So there's a bunch of uh, notes in the sand. You probably know what item you need to get those. Hey, what is this? Oh, this looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go grab that. Ah! How dare you? How dare you? How could you tempt me with your jigginess and... Uh, mm! Fine, looks like I can't get that right now. So I'm gonna have to go around this away. And oh, 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 new enemy, new enemy. This is uh, this is basically a repeat of an enemy that we've seen before, except you know reskinned. That's Scabby. I don't know what kind of bug it is, but yeah, its name is Scabby. <laughs> like, what is it? A mosquito? It looks too chunky for a mosquito. Is it a gnat? I don't know. It's got a spiky nose. I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get these notes, so I'm gonna get these notes. Because I have the power of the waiting boots. And I don't want to miss a notes, because I don't want to go back and get the boots again. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I don't have to. I can just jump in the sand and take take a bit of scratch damage, but... Eh, this is a hard enough world as it is to, to worry about health and whatnot, so... Yeah, by the way, I'm going to save the beehives in case I need them, too, so... Alright, so here is a pair of run running boots, uh, running shoes. Are you ready to race? Because here's the first one. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Super speed, and we're gonna go back down over to here. I can get it now, because <laughs> I'm fast enough. What a thousand years? Come on now, that's crazy. <laughs> well, in any way, it's mine now, and that's what you get for taunting me. And alas, in the cutscene, your boots... Why do I keep saying boots? Shoes run out. Um, now that... Oh shoot, that was close. I slipped off the edge because I had like a drift going on. And I'm like, yeah, it worked out. Now, um, I think what I prefer to do here is get the notes on this tower. I'm mean, not tower, pyramid after I do this actual rigmarole here because it's... It's just not really worth it to do so now, uh, until I do the thing that's in this pyramid, you'll see why. Because first I gotta step on the switch, now you'll- it says 25 seconds, but you've really only got about 20 seconds, because of this cutscene pausing you. So yeah, we gotta run up there, and trying to get those notes along the way just does not help <laughs> in the slightest. So I'm gonna go and just skip them for now, and then come back for them a little bit later on. And I think I'm gonna make it. You might want to jump over the edges to skip corners and stuff like that, but that's up to you if you want to do so. As for me, I'm just gonna hop down in here. Um, first thing you want to do here, well, it's maybe tempting to get the notes and stuff like that. I would like you to just get the jiggy. Oh! Oh yeah, new enemy too. Blah! New enemy too. Those are mum mums. Yeah, mum mum the mummy. And I, I cannot get that jiggy for the life of me. <laughs> And this is why the world is dangerous. Okay, come on, gently, gently get jiggy, 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 careful. I'm just trying to kind of stay along the edge, there we go. <clears throat> and, yeah, the water effect kind of, kind of popped away for some reason. I'd probably an emulation thing, because I don't remember that happening in the original. Um, this fills up the center area where there's a bunch of sand and stuff like that. And uh, normally if you fall in that center area, you'd have to use the flight pads to get out of there, but getting this set up ahead of time just makes things a whole lot easier. <laughs> so let's just leave that be. And by the way, these are pretty resilient enemies. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to use the power of your Wonder Wing to take care of them if you would like to. 
And I'm gonna do so just because I like the health. <laughs> okay. Now that I got that set up for future endeavors, I can leave this pyramid and ikumbokum it up. Because, yeah, that's that's the spot that you can ikumbokum from. Remember, you've seen that door that we, when we came up that slope. Well, maybe you didn't see it before, but yeah, there was a door there, and that's the exit door, basically. Alright, now I'm gonna go up and officially get the notes, because basically before, I wanted to take the corners as tightly as possible, because as you've seen, it comes pretty close. <laughs> Alright, okay, now... There's also a one-up up here if you care for that sort of thing. <laughs> it's right over here. I think that's just there to tempt you to, so that you miss the actual hatch trying to get in that thing. Alright, oh, and this cactus hurts you, uh, but it's also got a face on it. It's kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Everything has a face in Banjo-Kazooie. Alright, I'm gonna try and ride this over there. Yo, the magic carpet! Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, camera. Oh no! Oh no! Too hot for Gobi! But you're a camel! Oh, well, maybe we can do something about that. Yay! And we got ourselves a Jiggy! Heck yeah! So he's gonna go relax in the shade somewhere. Alright, so yeah, Gobi is the signature guy of this place, and uh, now I don't know what to do from here. I never really figured this out. Like, how to escape this without taking a hit? Like, are you supposed to go onto here and then jump onto this from there? Because when the carpet goes all the way over there, it... See, it disappears over there, and then... And yeah, oh! Oh wait, oh I see, it actually goes over to there. I never noticed that before. Good to know. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go... Uh, actually, you know what, I'm gonna save that for a little bit later. Yeah, I know there's notes here too. I should grab them because they're kind of kind of easily missed notes and I don't want to forget about these on the, the railings. But mainly what I want to do here is go back to the start area because I've sort of started a side quest of sorts. Oh, and you might have seen this thing pop out of the sand. That's the thing we gotta fly through later. Just uh, keep that in mind. But anyway, I'd like to go back to the start here first, because there is something awaiting us. Yep, he has come for the shade. Alright, let's see what's going on here. She looks a bit thirsty, but needs all the water he can get, I guess. Oh, but poor Trunkle. I mean, poor Trunker. <laughs> Oh, but I think it needs it more than you. Yeah, repeating the dialogue. <laughs> nah, eggs and feathers, no good. So, okay, camels have water in their humps, so why don't we just, you know, do a little little slam in there. Well, actually, it's not water, it's, a, it's actually a, you know, it's fat in their lumps, but, uh, well, nah, it's water there. <laughs> I thought you just squeeze water out of it or something like that. Well, anyway, Gobi's gone again, and it's gone off to another part of this world, but we'll we'll go to that place last, I think, because it's kind of out of the way. Sort of, kind of, well, maybe not that far out of the way, but for now, I'm just going to grab this Jiggy. And I think I'm also going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.